Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. We are here now with Lafayette in terms of discussing how you're going to build her, if you have her, if you're planning to build her. So this is the video for you. Before we move on to the other parts of this video, let's discuss first her skills. Okay, starting off with her attack, it's called True Penetration Upgrade Effect. Level 2 and 3 will give her a 50% basic attack boosting damage next is going to be our ultimate art of life initial energy is 70 which will make her go first obviously she should because she is a buffer grants a bouquet to the first ally in the same line boosting their damage and attack speed by 22 percent for 12 seconds increases the attack speed of the first ultimate by 22 and energy regeneration rate is six per second it's the usual upgrade effect level two the passive flower attack heals all allies with bouquet when dealing damage and level three there is a 50% chance to trigger additionally to gain a bouquet that lasts for 6 seconds. So that is her ultimate. Next is her passive Miracle Pen. Every base, If every 4th basic attack triggers a flower attack upon the current target, after a flower hits a target, it bounces to the surrounding targets 5 times and deals damage. The first 2 flower attacks additionally causes stun for 0.5 seconds, which is kind of minimal. Upgrade effect level two. Every basic attack, uh, every three basic attack triggers a flower attack. Level three, so it's from four it comes three. Level three boosts flower attacks damage by ten percent, and if the same target is hit multiple times, boosts the damage of each each hit by thirty three percent. Last is her special eye of imagination, boosts the target um, the damage dealt from the basic attack by twelve percent. Upgrade effects are um, level 2, boost attack by 5, initial energy by 20, and boost the damage dealt by basic attacks by 18%. So take note, she is a specialist, guys. Um, more on... She has damage, but she is more concentrated on buffs. Okay, moving on to her skills. Sorry. Moving on to her strengths and weaknesses. So definitely, she already has a good attack, good defense. Um, because I already outfitted her already. But definitely, she'll be needing help in the health department for survivability. So that is where you should concentrate. Try to give her more health and try to... If you're planning to, really to, to make use of her more frequently definitely she needs to survive um attacks from enemies that can attack probably the back row okay so moving on to her parts we have um quick set for the four piece set so definitely you'll be needing the quick set more than the attack set because if we go back not go back that far if we go back to her passive there is a effect that triggers um after four basic attacks and uh, when you upgrade this every three basic attacks so definitely she needs a uh, quick attack set then she needs a critical set to complement that so that is for her parts i don't see any more build aside from this from her so she's pretty much very concentrated and one dimensional, but definitely she really packs a punch when she uses it. Okay, so going through her badge, she will be needing Eternal Nightmare badge because it boosts attack speed with 20%. Basic attacks have 21% chance to bouncing off four, bouncing lightning off four times each time dealing damage equal to 120% of attack. So I can also not recommend other badges except this one probably if you have any um if you don't have this badge probably any other purple badge will do but this will really really um be very useful to her kit at this point so no adornment as of this moment that i'm suggesting from her but um let's see um in terms of the marb adornments here so this is what we have in the store as her adornment enhances lafayette's passive boost the number of bounces of flower attack by one times and with a 50 percent chance to boost it by two times so this is 
Um, hope you could get this in the future. Um, this is in the store and you can purchase it here in the bottom outright just in case you want it to be quit for her. So those are the parts, badges, and adornments that are, are uh, suggested for her. Let's go next to the team composition. Okay, so as far as team composition is concerned, she is definitely um, very good with uh, to pair with DPS units. DPS in the front. So that is what I meant. So one is going to be Kuroko. The other is going to be Rimuru if you have them. She's not going to be good with, with defenders, usually with DPS units. So the other ones that um, can be a good complement or can com can benefit more from, from Lafayette is going to be Rin and probably Izumi because Izumi can morph from Defender to Vanguard. So what else? Who else can benefit? Uh, down the line, Yuna, but... Usually, it would be a deep DPS unit right in front. That can really benefit from Lafayette's ultimate. Okay, so as for my final thoughts, um, nice figure to have, but not really a must-have. Uh, if you're a beginner um, and you need somebody to increase your DPS while you're clearing stages, she would be a very good complement to you, but not really a must to get. So it really depends upon you. If you fancy her kit, then go for it. But again, not a must get. She tends to be a one dimensional support uh, for your team, but definitely she is one of the best single target support units that we have, meaning single ally targets. She can really, you know, um, support very well single, single target uh, units or figures that we have especially if they, uh, they are of DPS uh, and Vanguard type. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. So hope this helps and take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.